Hi, my name is Megan O'Connor, and um, I am here today to talk to you about my piece that's in the show called Gravitational Oscillations. Um, this piece is a lithograph and a screen print. And um, I think first I'll talk to you about the idea behind the work, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about the process. Um, I made this piece for a portfolio exchange, um, and it's in the Kurt Vonnegut Museum in Indianapolis. When I was asked to participate in this exchange, I had never read any of Vonnegut's work. And um, this particular piece was based around the story uh, Slapstick. And um, since then I have read or listened to on audiobook anything Vonnegut that I can get my hands on. And if you've never read his work, it's really strange sci-fi, you know, um, <laughs> if you've never gone down that rabbit hole, you should totally go down it. Um, so there's a lot of strange things that he says in his books that are little, little, um, sort of nuggets that I hide in here that I won't go into. So if you're a Vonnegut fan, you know, definitely come see this piece in, in person um, that you might find little sur surprises. Um, but I do things in the piece, like there's some of his, his titles of his stories. Um, but more generally, the piece is about uh, intimacy. Um, it's about trying to get close to other people. So you can see there's there's two figures and they're they're trying to get close to each other, but they're essentially tethered by the knowledge that they know about the other person. So it is about relationships and about um, making choices to be with another person, um, to have friendships, um, to see the best in other people and accept each other's flaws. Um, and I think that is a large part about being human and it's one of the beautiful things about being human uh, with each other and existing together. Um, the process is lithography and screen printing and so the drawn elements that you can see is the lithography so that the shading and the rendering on the surface and then the colorful background is the screen printing and screen printing is basically a refined stencil process and so if you think about if you've ever done a spray paint stencil, um, it's a very similar process. Um, but essentially I used a stencil to block and protect the positive image. And then I screen printed a transition of three colors all at one, one time that sort of blended together uh, over the background. Um, and I'll talk to you about lithography. So this is uh, an example of some of my lithography materials. I just wanted to set it up to show you because sometimes it's easier to see it. Um, these are some lithographic stones that have been printed and um, you can see there's some imagery on the surfaces. So these are chunks of Bavarian limestone. They're a special type of stone. Um, you could have seen them in your garden. People used to use them as stepping stones. Um, but uh, this one here is ready to draw on and you actually draw on them with grease crayons. And uh, these are old stones that they've used to print labels. These have mayonnaise labels on them that they used to print on mayonnaise jars. Um, these here were printed onto uh, silicone and then they would be offset onto china. So if you can see this has a curve to the surface so that it would print onto a soft piece of silicone and then that soft silicone was impressed onto a piece of china so that it wouldn't break the china and then would also go onto a curved surface. Um, so these are old stones that I've purchased and then um, after they were into my possession, I sanded them down. So now it's a fresh porous surface. And so the image that I showed you was a, a stone that I sanded down. And then I was able to create my drawing on the surface, much like you would create a charcoal drawing and then you ink the surface up and sponge it with water, roll the ink on the surface while the surface is wet and the water rejects the ink in the non-image area so that your greasy ink only sticks to your greasy drawing. So when you put your paper down, the greasy ink only is attracted to the drawing and so your drawing prints onto the paper. And that is stone lithography. So. I hope you guys enjoy the exhibition, whether you're looking at it virtually or we get the chance to see it in person. Thank you.